Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So today, I'm really excited. I was not expecting this actually. So this is my uh, unboxing of my Boxy Charm, which is of course a monthly subscription service. Uh, it is mainly beauty based. They've started to kind of infiltrate other um, aspects like in my Boxy Lux last month, I got some straws, some of the um, reusable metal straws, which was kind of cool. So yeah, so, but they are mainly a beauty based subscription box. That is why I first subscribed to them. And um, with everything going on right now, I actually had got an email from them that said that um, they weren't sure when it was gonna ship. They thought we were going to probably get our boxes shipped out sometime at the end of this week. So I was expecting not to get it till like the end of April, but it is April 14th and um, we received it today. So I was pretty excited about that. Full disclosure, uh, we just did a really big, massive Ipsy versus Ipsy. Um, where I can combine my Ipsy Pluses and my mom's Ipsy Plus and we, we compare the two and see which one's better. I did not have a good response to that and the internet went kind of crazy on me. Um, but just before we jump into this, I am 100% candid. Whether I'm extremely excited or extremely uh, disappointed, I will be 100% honest with you guys. And um, if you're looking for somebody who's gonna be happy about it, it no matter what, <laughs> this is probably not the channel for you. But if you want somebody who's gonna give you your honest review, then, um, you've come to the right place. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's jump into this bad boy. Um, now I will say Boxy Charm, I was really enthusiastic about it for like the first years I was subscribed and then it started kind of disappointing me. It has gotten better, but there are still months where I'm very disappointed. However, I don't ever check spoilers, um, but I did notice on the Instagram feed, cause I follow them, that they seem to have a very nice base box this month. So I am pretty excited about that. Um, I will also point out that I think when we changed, when they changed over in November, I think they said they were doing customization, which Ipsy does. I think I customized two boxes and then I literally have not gotten another email since. So I don't think I've gotten an email for customization options at all in 2020, which is a little strange. And I checked my spam and everything to make sure it wasn't going anywhere, but like it, I, I couldn't find it. So I don't know what's happening. So I didn't pick anything in this box just as a full disclosure, but this is the bad boy right here. This is the box of charm. We are going to uh, dive right in without any further ado. So the theme of the box is festival vibes. Um, kind of cute theme, I'm kind of into that. So uh, yeah, and it looks like they gave us something about the makeup eraser, which I know is one of the things that um, you potentially could get. I'm kind of hoping I didn't get it because I got one in my FabFitFun in, in winter. So I'm hoping that's not one of the things I got, but that is uh, that is also included, just like a little, doesn't look like a coupon, just like a little info about it. So the first thing we got are some Baddington lashes and they're gorgeous lashes. They are top notch lashes. Personally, I am not a lash person. I did a horrible video where I tried to uh, put on fake lashes and I glued my eyeball shut and uh, the, the glue got in my eye for a minute. So I just, I don't normally do it, um, but I do like the lashes a lot. I think they've given us something from Baddington like maybe about a year ago. And the lashes themselves, I mean, if you guys can tell, they're really long and luxurious. I um, I do always keep a couple pairs on hand just in case I'm feeling a whim to, uh, to torture myself, um, but it's not something I normally use. So uh, good product. I probably will either save it for giveaway or I'll save it for like another like weird look I decide to do um, when I feel like hating myself. But I do like that product even though I don't normally use them. Um, the next thing we have is an iconic London, which I like iconic London as brand a lot. It's an iconic London lip plumping gloss. <laughs> Once again, not a huge fan of this kind of product because I don't like the lip plump plumping glosses. They always make your lips tingle and I'm not like a huge fan of that, but it's a pretty color um, and it's a really nice size. Obviously it's full size, but it's a nice size. Um, just like a normal little lip gloss. And it does look like it'll probably be really neutral on the lips. Um, I'm wearing lipstick right now, but I bet I could probably put some on. Let's see, let's just test it and see if my lips catch fire. Okay, really pretty color and not sticky. I love lip glosses that are not sticky. Um, Cause that's why I really don't wear lip glosses a lot is I just don't like the sticky texture of it. It's a little pink, but honestly it seems pretty neutral. Like I, I had kind of a light shade on anyway. And, oh, yep, they're, it's like the, it's like when you put Vicks Vapor Rub like really close to your, your nasal capacity, your, no, capacity, your nasal, your nasal passageway is what I was trying to say. And like, you can feel it like start to tingle in there. That's the same kind of like, it's not super bad, but it also, I also have a layer of lipstick in between my lips and the plumping thing itself. I also have, um, looks like pizza sauce on my lip. I don't know. Do 
doing well here, guys. Um, so yeah, so once again, not something I would necessarily choose for myself, but not something that I hate, which is, I do, I really like that actually, that I'm getting stuff that I wouldn't necessarily buy, but I'm still not disappointed with, if that makes sense. Oh, weird. Okay, I've never seen, I've never seen this happen before in any subscription. I wish I could talk today. Apparently I can't talk. I have never seen this before in any subscription box that I've done. We actually got two products from Iconic London. Um, normally they do like a variety of different um, brands. So it's kind of interesting, but I, I'm excited about this one. These are Iconic London Illuminator Drops. I love Illuminator Drops. I actually prefer to mix them just like a drop in with my foundation to give myself like an all over sheen. Um, but they can be used as a highlighter. They can be used as anything and I, I just, I love all things glitter. I'm gonna just swatch it on my hands. So can you see that, Nikki? My, on my dry hand, on my dry alligator-like hand, kind of, okay. Oh yeah, that, so that, I probably won't use this as a highlighter. I probably will use it as like a drop in my makeup because it seems to do really nicely of not being like too terribly abrasive, but it does give you just like a nice sheen. Is it catching at all? A little bit. A little bit. See, well, it's, so it's very neutral, but once again, I kind of like that because that means that I will be able to use it for what I would prefer to use it for anyway. So I really like this product. I'm, I'm very excited about that one. All right, I'm also really excited about this one. Um, this is a good box, in my opinion. I'm, I'm happy with this box. Um, a lot happier than I was with my Ipsy Plus, let me tell you. This is this is a box that I'm okay paying $25 for. Uh, we actually have price locks, so we did a full year subscription when they were changing the price. So we pay like 19 for the box. But I mean, I would happily pay 25 for it because of, of everything I've gotten so far, I think is worth the money. But this is a full-sized, the Pore Professional Hydrate Primer. I, I love this primer and I'm not gonna lie, I've never had a full size of it. I always get like the little teeny tiny mini tubes that come in like the benefit free gifts because benefits always great about giving free gifts or the Ulta free gifts where they like have a big bunch of stuff and it's from all different brands. So having a full size of this is actually really exciting. Personally, I love getting primers in these boxes because I'm always looking for a good primer and I um I use a variety of different ones normally. So I, I right now, like these two are not bad products but they're not things that I would really pick out for myself. But these two, I'm really freaking excited about. And the last one is actually the one I'm most looking forward to. So Zoeva, which is, and I think I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I apologize. So Zoeva is a makeup company that I've seen a lot of, but I've never bought their products. Like they've got, a, they are in Ulta, I know. Um, they put on some of their palettes on sale at Ulta and I always am like, maybe I should get some, maybe I not. And then I decide not to. So this is, an, I mean, they're not expensive, expensive expensive but they're pricey they're like 30 40 dollars i believe for a palette so this is they had a whole bunch of different options and oh i'm so excited so i love glitter shades don't get me wrong i'm not hating on glitter shades but i personally prefer mattes because i feel like i can do a lot more with mattes and this is the zoeva matte palette it looks like it's just the the matte palette it looks like but it comes with a bunch of really gorgeous neutral shades and Personally, I i mean, I could do a look with it all by itself, but this is the type of palette that when I have like a really hyper glitter pigmented palette or a really colorful palette, I'm gonna grab this one in addition to it to be able to have a couple nice neutral matte shades to be able to give the dimension and um, the shape and the things that I'm looking for uh, when creating a full eye look. So I'm really excited about this palette actually. I would say, like three of the five items I am like thrilled with. And then the other two items I'm like, those are cool. Which that to me is a great sub subscription box. There's not much more I can ask for with that. If I get at least like two products in it that I really love, I'm pretty excited normally. So this is one of the best Ipsy's that we've gotten in a while. I um, I like the Ipsy Luxe, but there were some downsides to it. So I'm, I'm very excited about this one. Now, what I always like to do is go through, I have Nikki who's behind the camera. He always sits there with his little calculator and he adds up the total value of the box. So I believe they tell us that the box value is at least $130. That's what's sticking out in my head. I could be wrong. That's what I'm thinking they normally tell us it is worth. Um, like I said, we pay 19 for it, but currently if you were to sign up right now and subscribe to the box, I, unless you do like a year subscription, which I think you'll get it for like $23. If you do it month to month, it's gonna be $25. So we've got the Benefit Cosmetics Pore Professional Hydrating Primer. That is $32, which is, I know benefits prices, so that is it. Uh, oh, the Zoeva palette is actually less than I thought it was. It's only $28. 
Um, that may be because it's like a specialized one for BoxyCharm or maybe not. Maybe I just was mistaken. I did say 30 to, to 40, so I guess I wasn't that far off, but $28 for that one. The Iconic London Illuminator is $41. I love this, but I probably would not pay $41 for it if I'm being honest, but I do really like it. The Iconic London Plumping Lip Gloss is $26. I definitely wouldn't pay that for it. But like I said, as an addition to a box that I already really like, it's pretty cool. Um, and then the Baddington Lashes, which are, um, they are Harlow 3D Silk Lashes, so they're silk. It is a $31 value. Um, I don't buy lashes, so I don't know how much, if that's correct or not, but it is a $158 value for this box. It was worth my money, I can tell you that. I really like this one. Um, it's very refreshing, as disappointed as I was with the Ipsy Plus, and as um, much backlash as I got for expressing, um, my genuine feelings about how disappointing Ipsy has been lately. It is very nice to receive a box that I uh, genuinely enjoy. So I say definitely kudos to BoxyCharm. Not that they haven't disappointed me in the past, but this one was a, this was a big win for me. Um, and it came the day after my birthday. So it's a win all around. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely is going to help the page out a ton. If you haven't subscribed to the page already and you like what you see here, then please consider doing so. We would absolutely love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you see every time we upload content. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.